Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim. With me many lives, who is currently looking a little... fabulous? Both he and our new companion Stenvar have the greatest hats, we're trying to keep a low profile, but we somehow ended up at the house of Aventus Aretino, who's been doing some shady things trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood. I'm gonna take that human flesh and the heart. Eh, you know, maybe a book for reading, just not late night reading, because I'll have nightmares. He accidentally summoned us instead, and we've been sent to... Please don't kill Constance. That's not the line you were gonna give me. We've been sent to the Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, where apparently we have to take care of Grelod the Kind. So that's something fun we're gonna keep in mind. We'll take a pitchfork in case we have to fight off Grelod in an epic pitchfork battle. Or, other than that, just gonna take everything he has. I mean, he has to vacate the properties either way. We also... That was a strange sound for a letter. We have a letter from Steward Your Life, which is going to give us some more info about what's going on with the Aretino boy. Master Aventus Aretino. Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak wishes to express his deepest sympathies at the death of your mother, Nalia. Unfortunately, because you are fatherless, you and have no other known relations, the Jarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than a week's time, you are to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, where you will reside until your 16th birthday. The Aretino family, home in the city of Windhelm, will, of course, remain your property. The building will be securely locked and ready for your return six years hence. Note that I am unsure of the education provided to you by a recently deceased mother, or if you possess the ability to read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call upon you in one week at your home and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully his arrival will not come as a complete shock. With greatest respect, your life, steward to our most noble Jarl, Ulfric Stormcloak. I will take that too. So, he doesn't want to be sent to Riften, but that's hard to do anything about. But at least we can make his stay at Riften a little bit better. But, we aren't going there yet. We have the streets of Windhelm to explore. There are many dank streets that we've yet to walk. Many people we've yet to meet. Many quests. Hello. I'll be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Stop by Candlehearth Hall. Got some good mead over there. How are ya? I'm a sailor on the North Wind. That's We're great. Over in Windhelm for a while. Real great. I'm a traveling chef, you see. Um, making some rather wonderful delicacies. But we're gonna need some inspiration. Let's go to Sadri's used wares. Give a holler if you have any questions. That can we talk about the lighting in here? Like, it's not a good look, okay? Like the darkness and the. It doesn't help your complexion, man. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. Okay. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. Nothing in here is stolen. Nothing at all. Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. I could return the ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Okay. Who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Hmm. So, what do you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna start seeing some dwarven gear appearing in shops and loot, which is very exciting. I don't think there's anything here we would really want from you, mister, but it's always good to have a little peek. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. We'll make sure to head towards Viola's house and plant that golden ring to get Sadri out of trouble. 
And Sophie is sitting with the Dark Elves at their corner club. What a fate. Oh, there's Viola right there. Uh, we could talk to her right now, but I kind of want to stop by her house, if you know what I... Farm work is hard work. Yeah. I'm to relax when I can, but I still have to listen to no, my brother's harping about you just... Shut your mouth. I don't know what to do. I love that as a slogan, though. Hashtag farm work is hard work. Alright, we've talked to you before. Let's go to the new Nissa's Corner in. Club. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Uh, it's not quite Candle Hearth Hall, is it? Hey. How splendid. Another Nord. Why are there so many Dark Elves here? Me ignorant. Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind. So we came west. Windhelm was the first city on that road. And here we are. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. Hmm. How are the Dark Elves treated in Windhelm? Well, you see where we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill, like they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I tried to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. Also, I've been hearing things about murders in Windhelm. None of that matters ahead. to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. Alrighty. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. I think we're good. What's your story? I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. Is that a potion? Wrong. I'm just gonna take this upstairs. We were down at the docks in the other episode, and we heard from an Argonian lad that apparently... Ooh, skill book. Stemmer, I'm gonna have to teach you a new trick, okay? You've been a good friend to me. It's called... Fine. What? Ask no questions. What? And the first task... Steal this book. Will do. Come on. Right over there. You got this. This is his test. Initiation. Bingo. The perfect follower. Is that it? For now. In the other episode, we talked to an Argonian uh, lad. And he wanted his fix of skooma. Because apparently, as we saw in the journal of uh, that other dark elf down at the docks working at that trading company... She's been uh, preventing him from having his fix. So he's looking for what he heard about here at the Corner Club called a double distilled skooma. Which... Probably potent enough to kill you, but we'll deliver it to him all the same because... Completion. Let's take this book right here. Check out the barrel. Apples are absolutely worthless to me. What do we got on the top floor? I'm not even gonna sneak. I'm just gonna mist for bless me. What do we have here? Not much of worth. I don't know what I was expecting. We do have a couple of... Are these gold pieces bigger than usual? No way gold pieces are that big. That has to be a scaling thing. Anyways, get, get off of the sack of... Oh, it's empty. Well, okay, you can feel bad for the pickaxe now. Can I... Oh, my... Everything's in the way. I just... Ah. <sighs> All right, we got a potion. We got some goods from this place. And some cabbage. You know what they say. Take from the rich. Take from the poor. Let's hit the streets. We'll head over to the docks later on. Hey. One of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. Till I took a sword to the chest. That's a new take on the arrow to the knee. <laughs> I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my war wound. Listen, I don't like you, but I have a deity watching over me that's making me give you gold, so here you go. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Yes. Until next time. My selfish heart. That's the second and final beggar of Windhelm. Invested in. Very good. Very good. Now, there is another shop I would like to stop by. It's getting a little late in the evening, but we'll see if they're still open. I want to go over to the market and see if we can find the alchemy shop. The white... File. Vile? File. We'll find ask? out. In time. The smithies. I did that engraved piece just last month. This is the royal armor lies. Maybe in a few years. 
Man, you're being hard ass. Hey. Everyone says Jorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. So does the war mean good business for you? I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Ulfric his rightful glory, I would hammer a thousand shields. Shore's bones. I might just have to. Hmm. So, Ungol War Anvil does have a quest, but we can't currently get that quest because we already have a quest of the same type active, which is a quest to go dungeon delving in a cave. So a lot of these quests, they share like a quest name, and so we can't have two of those running at the same time. We'll have to deliver the other one, then we can go to Ungol and get his quest. How's your steel? Not in a weird way, of course. Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in Whiterun. I respect Jorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. Sure. What do you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Again, most likely not going to buy anything. I'm just curious what's here. Sanctified Imperial Bow. Dwarven War Axe, here we go. Dwarven Shields. Leather Helmet of Conjuring. Alright. Interesting. Good to know we have you. Whether it's armor you need or a new hey. blade. Working in Windhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. You're a fangirl then. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. In fact, he's the reason I chose to learn this looking trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the Great Stormcloak army. Uh, do you like being a blacksmith? Smithing isn't the most exciting thing for me, but we all have to lend a hand as best we can. If a Stormcloak uses one of my swords to strike down an Imperial soldier, then I've done my part to free our land. Yeah, there. A word of advice: don't buy discounted armor. Ah. Uh. Reminds me of the uh, shop in the Imperial City. What's it called? The Discount Spells one. Oh, what was the proprietor of that one? Oh, man. Discount Spells. Not a great idea. Discount Armor. I'll be better. Fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <laughs> Just... <clears throat> You see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Oh, if there was a tonic that could help me, <laughs> I would have found it by now. Hey? I'm so close to the answer. What are you arguing about? Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this doting busybody won't let me get it. If you tell me where it is, I can get it for you. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Okay, the white file. Proper big boy quest this is. Why is the file so important to you? I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <coughs> have chosen me for their amusement. <laughs> for in my current condition, 
I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. Hmm. What is the White File? The legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. Hmm. Why are you still standing around here? I, I just... Don't get me the file, you fool! There's so many goodies here, but I would like to become his friend before we start looking around this shop. I forgot how to wink there for a sip. Wink? Yes, wink's the right words. I want his permission to take his stuff first, because it makes it easier to sell it off later. For now, Be careful. everybody's gone home, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I need to find the rich people homes, and looks like we are in just the right district. However, if I'm gonna break into some homes, it's best to do it when people aren't home, you know? So here we have the Shatter Shields. Twin sister a while back. We I do have- Oh, Viola! Fancy seeing you here. Keep walking, you gossip. Mr. Bliss me. This is her house where we have to plant that golden ring, which means I need... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh I s Never get your hopes up. Oh, oh let's try this again. There we go. Third time is the charm. All right. We're in. Now then. This looks like a suitable dresser for the ring. We'll leave the fine boots be. How about we find Viola's gold ring? There we go. Ah, a good deed. Then again, I mean, we are collecting every item, are we not? So maybe we just take this with us. We can still complete the quest, but I'd also like it with me. Because reasons, okay? What's in the knapsack? Potion, ring, Wolf Queen Volume 4. I will take it. Very interesting indeed. What's in the sacks? We're just gonna do a quick little peek, okay? I am simply inspecting what she has to make... Dog meat? See, this is why we loot, okay? Now I have dog meat this way, and I don't have to get it another way. You're welcome, dogs of the world. Take some salt. Let's take some salt. Salt is pretty cool, after all. Take some gold. Plenty of cheese. Like, how does she intend to eat all that cheese? I guess she can just store it. Berenzia Volume 4. Pelinol Volume 3. Wolf Queen Volume 5. Sounds familiar. By good old Wagen Jarth. Speaking of books, I have been cowhide. I've not been cowhide. I've been reading the Skyrim Library uh, just for myself, just to prepare for the book reading that I intend to do for you. And some of the stories there are like really fun. Like a lot of them are just stories with a single narrator just going over facts. And those are okay, but others are like, you know, full-on stories with lots of different actors and plot twists and all of it. So I'll need to do some proper preparations for that. But I feel so giddy getting to share all of that with you in that fashion. So I'm thinking there's going to be like one video per volume. But also, it's like 240 pages per volume. It's a lot of reading. The videos are probably going to be quite long, but I'm going to timestamp them. Just so you can have one video you can put on and just have in the background if you wish. But I'm also considering uploading all of them as separate unlisted videos that can just reside in the playlist. So that if you're looking for a specific book, you can easily find it in that playlist. I'm just going to pick up the rest of the books here. So stay tuned for that. I want to just get ahead a little bit on these uploads before I play around with making that series. But 
Immortal Blood is not a skill book in this game. In Oblivion, that was actually the first skill book we ever got. We could find it outside of Wolverine. I believe we picked it up in episode four. I think it's hand to hand, if I'm not mistaken. It's just fun to see that again. More potatoes. Again, leek is really what we're missing here when it comes to the uh, vegetable soup making that we're going to be doing later on. That's what's going to be holding us back. Maybe I should stop by the... I, I need to stop by the market, actually. Once, uh, once people are actually out there. There we go. We just stopped by Viola, said hello to her things. Some of them appeared in our pockets. Couldn't tell you how. I do want to have another word with Torbjorn. I've been a bit out of sorts since... Yes. Since okay, it's locked, so he's probably not there. The reason we want to talk to Torbjorn is because down at the docks we met an Argonian who wanted us to... Nightshade. Ooh. He wanted better pay. Torbjorn's in charge of paying him. And we've kind of cozied it up to Torbjorn after giving him our Amulet of RK and drinking with him, so that should all be good once we find him. Vegetables for sale? Hey. What have you got for sale? Take a look. If you have leaks, I am kissing the nearest. All right, I don't have to finish that sentence because there's nothing here. Butter? I don't think we ever found butter before. I'll pick up some butter. Meat pie? I'll take that. What else we got here? Nice. All right, pretty fantastic. You grow all your own crops? Everything you see is grown at my family's own Holly Frost farm. Fresh and filling. I also do a little herb growing. The court wizard, Woundfirth, pays us to plant a little nightshade. Who knows what he uses it for. Hey, could you deliver this bottle of nightshade extract to Woundfirth? Sure. Thanks. I understand you purchase use... Alright, a little quest. Time. Must be tough to grow anything out here. There's an old saying, but only a Nord can work the soil in Skyrim. I, I don't think anyone else would have the patience for it. It takes half a day just to dig a planting row in the cold, stony earth more. here. But what else can we do? Oh, Eat see. rocks and ice? Yes, yes, of course, I'll take a look. Mm. Good day to you. Challenge accepted. Where's the rocks? Ah, Torbjorn. Or Nilsi. Just, uh, that's too close. Sister was killed. Hey, man, listen, buddy. You need to pay the Argonians a fair wage. Well, my friend, if you think those boots need more coin, I'll make it happen. But Good. I'm doing this for you, not them. All right, that makes sense. All right. Please forgive my mood. I'm still coming Hello. to terms with my daughter's death. You need anything, come see me. Thank you I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. There might be something here we want so we can make some new dishes, actually. Where do you get your goods? I'm being all suspicious here. Wherever I can find it. Oh. You're the type who worries over where something came from. You may want to move on. Alright, I can respect that. You live in the Grey Quarter? I'm a dark elf and I live in Windhelm. So when yes, how much we I live in the Grey Quarter. She was so you must be new around here. So proud. Or you'd know they don't let my kind so live anywhere outside that slum. You must be suffering terribly. I wish there was some. They're talking so much behind you. Be sure to stop You've by done Sadri's more than enough already. The You've been a good I'll friend. Fruit and and a I was trying to pay attention to their talk, but now sorry, there's I'm way too much talking. Okay. I have a lot of respect. Noise. Take a look. I just want to see if you have some venison. Thank you. We'll buy that venison so we can make a venison. Take care, friend. Stew. Or some venison chops. Something tasty. What's in the barrels? Wonderful. I believe that's all of our market business done with. Brynwolf, we haven't talked to you. You one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? No. Skyrim's big enough for everyone. Good. Too many Nords in this town have been listening to Ulfric's narrow minded words. He's tough, loyal to his men, and a good leader. But if you're not a Nord, Ulfric will never trust you. So Ulfric doesn't care about outsiders? Whenever a group of marauders attack a Nord village, Ulfric is the first to sound the horn and send the men. But a group of dark elf refugees gets ambushed, a group of Argonians or a Khajiit caravan, no troops. No investigation. Nothing. There's a group of cutthroats out there right now that Ulfric doesn't lift a finger to bring to justice. 
as long as they don't threaten Nord land. What if I took care of these bandits? That's a brave offer. I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. You deal with them. I'll make sure you get paid. Maybe this old soldier will throw in some lessons as well. Kill the leader of Winter War. Well, that sounds cool. So, we can encounter Brunwolf around the streets talking to a Dark Elf, who will refer to him as a war hero. I don't know if we've actually seen that scene, but we'll point it out. I killed a lot of High Elves in the Great War, and I didn't die. I guess that makes me a war hero. The Great War. There was nothing great about it. Thousands died on both sides. And where did it get us? Did we really save the Empire? Or did we just plant the seeds for Ulfric's uprising? And another war. Hmm. So why help the Dark Elves? Help the Dark Elves? Oh. You must have heard me talking to Malfir. Yes, of course. The Dark Elves live in a run-down slum called the Grey Quarter. Ulfric's content to keep it that way. I guess they think I can open Ulfric's eyes to their plight and get him to lift a finger on their behalf. I'm trying, but Ulfric is set in his ways. For him, there's two kinds of people in this world. Nords and the folk beneath them. Yeah. Show those marauders what Windhelm justice tastes like. So we've learned a lot of things about Ulfric Stormcloak. Very few of them positive. Let's go join him. <laughs> we do actually have to join the Stormcloaks before we reach level 20 in order to receive a special poison called the Ice Wraith Bane. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Let's go to the Palace of the Kings and enter inside. Ulfric won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on Whiterun. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Gotmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Been there, done that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. 
And that's why you will be High King. I'm not much of a strategist. The day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. That was a lengthy... Double our men in the reach. A reasonable strategy. And you, Yorli? Well, sir, the hold of Falkreath is fairly vulnerable and blocks the only road from Cyrodiil. A good point, old friend. To be sure, not even Lord, looking at him. I am not skilled in the arts of war or military tactics. But you're able to see the hold in the parts. And for that, I'm grateful. As you wish, sir. So your life is the man who sent the letter to Aventus. Okay, that was a lengthy sequence. But the war is about to begin and we need to pick a side. It begins Empire's ravenous hunger here. for Skyrim silver makes them fierce. But rest assured, we'll win the reach and wrest it from their greedy paws. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? I was at Helgen. Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. I held Raylof escape. He said he'd vouch for me. Raylof's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man. But he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Now, I'm just kind of here for the benefits, but thanks. So he wants us to talk to Galmar. We could talk to Ulfric, have him uh, elaborate a bit more on his plans, but we can do that some other day once we return from the task. Mm. Hey. Mm. Helgen, huh? Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Now, but first, tell me, why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Uh, well, this first one's not really true. I want to fight the Empire. I'll bleed for the chance to do so. Uh, can't fault anyone for that. As long as you hate the Empire as much as I do, that I can work with. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I want to join. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. I can handle anything you throw at me. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. What's at Serpentstone Island? It's where men have tested their metal for ages. There's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Look at all of these sentences where I'm just doubting myself. I'm going alone. I'm not so sure. I'm off to kill that ice wraith. I'll be back soon. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You'll need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. Look at that. Ice Wraith Bane and an elixir of resist colds. Joining the Stormcloaks has begun. So, what's interesting about these is that we can only really get this poison by joining the Stormcloaks before level 20. And now we have it. Wonderful news. That being said, if we look into our log, we can still see that we have the objective called Join the Imperial Legion. Because technically we can still join the Imperial Legion. This is just the initiation quest of the Stormcloaks. And so going to Solitude to join them before we actually go kill that Ice Wraith will mean we can complete one extra quest. 
because we're still playing both sides. So it's just a little fun note right there. Now, I know that there was some nightshade extract that could be uh, delivered. Where, wherever was Woonfirth? Let's see. We'll see if we can uh, find out where Woonfirth is at. Thrice pierced. <laughs> Fight or die well. Mm. All right, I'll just take this. You know, initiation gift. That's that's what this is, right? Ooh, I mean, can I get? I mean, storm. Mm. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's just for the, the the look. I need it for the thumbnail. I'm sure these guys will understand that I, I need I need these for the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of gold in that pouch. That was a loud sound. I'll take that. Yeah, you know, that's probably enough for my cosplay. No, I, I want some gloves as well. In all honesty, this is just for the thumbnail, so... Let's do that, that, that. Alrighty. Let's get some Stormcloak gear on. Badoosh. Badoosh. And that means, you know what? I'm gonna put the chef's hat down. Okay. Here we are then. We are... Here's lore time. Plenty of people here. I'd love to talk to more of them, but I'm not going to spend too long in this episode just hanging around the Palace of the Kings. We can do that in some other episode. We still have plenty of stuff to do today, so... But let's see if we can't find this Woonfirth. Misfar, bless me. That is... a thing. Ah, he's sleeping. Oh, well, that's a... terrible shit. Why? An unusual gem. Oh my. Who's... Why are you... Hey, hey. If it's bed or board you're after. Whoa, what is... It's a raven here. You've heard I can do is probably true. Now it's suddenly very Trouble? crowded. Trouble? Yes, I'm trying to cause trouble. Droth of destruction, solution of lasting potency, creep cluster. This is just the kind of place where I want to... Oh my gosh! Troll fat, sorry. Vampire dust, glow dust, frost salts. Filter of destruction. The Ethereum Wars. That's amazing. That's a book book. I didn't know that. Oh, we gotta read it then. The Ethereum Wars by Tehran Dreth. Dedicated to Katria, my friend and colleague. The end, when it came, was swift. In the span of three short years, the great dwarven cities of Skyrim, from Markarth to the Velothi Mountains, fell before the armies of the High King. Cities that had held fast against the Nords for over a hundred years crumbled abruptly and without warning. For centuries, scholars have marveled at the sudden collapse of the Dwemer city-states. Even the Nords seemed to have been taken by surprise though their chroniclers were quick to ascribe their success to King Gellir's inspired tactics and the blessings of Shore. My research suggests a much different cause, however. In the decades preceding their fall, the dwarven cities of Skyrim had been decimated by internal disputes and infighting over a most surprising cause, Ethereum. Modern scholars know Ethereum as a rare luminescent blue crystal found in some Dwemer ruins. Most consider it little more than a curiosity, as it has proven all but impossible to work with. While it has a strong magical aura, it is alchemically inert, and no known process can enchant, smelt, mold, bind, or break it. To the dwarves, of course, such problems were merely a challenge. In the years following King Harold's reign, the Dwemer discovered a considerable source of Ethereum in their deepest delvings. An alliance of four cities, Led by Arkenthams, the great research center in the southern reach was formed to oversee its extraction processing and study and a new Ethereum forge constructed to smelt it under precisely controlled conditions. I butchered that last sentence. If the inscriptions I discovered are to be believed, the results were nothing short of spectacular. The items produced by the forge were artifacts of immense power, imbued from the moment of their creation with powerful enchantments. The Dwarven Alliance shattered almost immediately as the four city-states and their rivals attempted to claim the forge. We can only speculate that none were successful. 
decades of conflict merely weakened them all, allowing for King Gellir's subsequent conquests. And though the Dwemer reclaimed most of their lands a century later, there is no evidence that they ever resumed their research on Ethereum. Perhaps the costs had just been too great. But nothing like the Ethereum Forge described in the inscriptions has ever been found within the borders of Skyrim. It may have been destroyed long ago by the Nord invaders or the Dwemer themselves, or perhaps it, like the secrets of Ethereum itself, still remains to be discovered. Okay, the Ethereum Forge. That's... That's exciting. That's exciting right there. I will take some of this stuff right here. Conjurer's Filter, Conjurer's Droth. All is good. Okay, where on the map would this Arkenthums be? Oh, it's right, <laughs> right next door, <laughs> you know. It's just all the way. Over. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's let's not have that on my map. That's that's a little unnecessary. Hey! If Ulfric needs a favor, he has it. Anyone else better pay well for the service. I have a delivery from Hillavy. Ah, yes. The extract. Good. Poisonous, of course, but uh, it has its uses. I suppose you want something for your trouble? Here. I'll take it. Can I get it back? Strength and Missed steel are well and good, but magic is the true power in this world. Oh, I can't get it back. Listen, buddy, boo, 48%. If I don't get this, the world hates me. What do you think you What was that? Oh, he's actually gonna kill me! <laughs> what are the odds? Well, 48%. It's still kind of Don't even all right. Think about it. I, I didn't I'll think about it. I did it. Research, but you just be confused. What do you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Mm. Let's have a little look here. Uh, scrolls aren't that. Whoa, spell tomes. Hubba hubba. What do we have here? Bound battle axe, bound swords, uh, candlelights. A lot of these we can get just out and about as well. Fire rune. Ah, we don't have the magic for that. Still, mage light muffled oak flesh. Man, this is this is really cool. That's okay. We'll stop by Woundfirth and have some more conversations with them some other day. For now, that little quest has been delivered. We picked up a book that gave us another story and another quest, but. Now I think it is high time that we move on out and leave the Palace of the King's exploration to another day. Now, we mostly just have deliveries now. I want to head back to the general store to let the Dark Elf there know that we have planted Viola's Golden Ring. And we just decide not to tell him that we also took it back. Good to see you again, friend. <laughs> because I like collecting things, what can I say? Then we gotta stop by the docks and let the Argonian there know that we have... We have actually helped two Argonians there. In here. Give hey. Up. Have you taken care of that little problem? I placed a ring in her house. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. What's that? Speaking of fortune, here. Everything I earned from my last shipment. It's yours. 600 golds. Nice. You come again. So, we can start picking up more of his stuff now. Not all of it, of course, but I think I'm going to postpone a potential thieving trip to the cities for an episode of their own, just so we don't take too long. He said after having spent like five minutes in Viola's house raiding everything she has, and now I'm looking upon this stack of barrels and I really want to raid them to see if there's anything useful in them. Potatoes. Get a job. So. <laughs> I need to stop being mean to Sophie, okay? She's, she's a good girl. She's a kind girl. I'll give her a home when I have one, which I don't. Okay. Down at the docks, we want to find Scout's Many Marshes and what's his face? The Nords don't appreciate us. Are you the one? Look, we don't have much love for your kind down here. Hey. I wish the Nords, Argonians, and Dark Elves in Windhelm got along better. Torbjorn will be paying you all more. You talked Torbjorn down? 
Yep. I'm impressed. Here I was saving this for a rainy day. Maybe now I can afford a few more for my people. Take it. Hmm. Potions of stamina. Earth beneath your feet, you never know when you need to run away from a mammoth. Ah, this is the guy. This is the druggie. Another day, another septum. Hey. The young folks are too happy to break their backs for the Nords. They forget what it was like to swim free. Here's your double distilled skooma. Thank you so much. Here, let me show you a thing or two about not attracting attention to yourself. No, you really don't have to. Oh. If you returned with some skooma. Miss Far blessed me. I know I just went through the trouble of getting this, but if the lords above and below are on my side, I will be picking this up on the first try. Never should have come. Never lucky. <laughs> Almost like the universe is trying to tell me something. Ah. It's probably just my magic. Oh, I swear. You remind me of the shadow scales from the old histories. Oh, that's a compliment. But could you also just... Oh, there's a card. I'm not suspicious. Why are you looking at me? This is perfectly normal. How can I help a brother Nord? You can walk away and stop staring intently at me. Also, poor Argonian man is now forever stuck there. Why are you here? Oh my... <laughs> Go away. Yes, I, I plan to make some. Mistfire blessed me. He turned his back. He... Oh, okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> They're both... There! Take it! <sighs> They're making this mighty difficult. Tight. <sighs> Can you not... Just, I don't want to be seen, okay? You have questions? I have fingers that need to enter your pocket, sis. And they did. We got the skooma back. That's going to be a common trend whenever we finish a quest. We do want to steal it back just so I can store it at home and look at it and smile to myself, knowing I got the reward and the item at the same time. Now, we are rapidly approaching the end of the episode, so what we're going to do is make some food. Let's make our, um, let's pack some lunches, essentially, for the journey that's about to happen. We're leaving the city with Stenvar to delve into Dwemer ruins, okay? We're gonna have adventures and battles unlike any we have had before. We need to come prepared. We'll start with that potion of minor healing right there. I'm the cook up at Candlehearth Hall. Oh, you think so? Well, where's your chef's hat, huh? See, I have a chef set. That makes me a more qualified cook. Get away. All right. It's time to cook. I do want to cook some beef. Mmm. I do want to make myself some uh, horker stew, which I'm not... I don't have the ingredients for. But I could always make myself a venison chop. That's pretty good. Other than that, though, I think we're going to stick to vegetable soups. As you can see, we have a lot of potatoes, but those ten leeks are what's going to limit us here. But I'm gonna make 10 vegetable soups then. Oh boy. It's not that much, but we will be able to find... Uh, I can't think with the song going on. Let's see. That was the... That was what we wanted there. Now, we need a safe container. This dresser right here... Shut. Oh, it doesn't even... So, this is the dresser where we want to store away some items, essentially. Because we're going to be hitting the road and I want to be a bit lighter on our feet. So, first, 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 first things first, we are going to take some things from our buddy over here. I want to get him more of a blunt weapon, but for now he's going to go with what he has. I also want to keep him just fine and light on his feet, essentially. So I'm gonna take some of these right here. Winterhold guards shield. Ha! <laughs> How did you end up with that one? And we are going to just... You don't need any of these, okay? Just leave it to me. How did you end up with all of this stuff? <sighs> Alright, I'll see you in a bit. There we go. Now he only has the battle axe from me. Lead on, then. 
And that means... I'm just gonna take that... Just get off the dresser. Thank you very much. It's time to put away some stuff. Let's do this. Okay, we are traveling much lighter. However, we still have some fruits sure. that Feel must go in them. your inventory. Mostly vegetables, actually, but listen. Equip this helmet, makes you look <laughs> so kind of goofy. But I also need you to carry 23 cabbage, 27... Actually, I don't need carrots with me. The potatoes and the tomatoes, though, you will need to take. These carrots, I'm going to place away. 27 of them. Better not have anybody steal from my drawer. So, we're traveling slightly heavier than usual, but that's because we also have more stuff. We particularly have a lot more potions now and some soul gems and the like, which is good. Okay, you are the High King. That's enough of that. Let's hit the road. We are essentially ready to go explore. It's the middle of the night, perfect time to travel. <laughs> Always super safe. We will be fine. We finally have a companion. I'm so glad we do. Let's go, Stenvar. It's time to start forming a new connection, a new relationship, if you will. We need to find out who Stenvar is. How is her chemistry? Can we fight well together? I've actually never gone in here. I just kind of wanted to get on top of the bridge. I didn't know you could actually go this far. Ice and shit. Is that a... Need something. I think that's Fine. a skill book. What? I wasn't even planning on getting this one. Will do. There we go. So far, so good. He's not gonna have the morals that Sven has. Sven, I keep saying Sven. Why? That Sven had. So it's gonna be a little easier to um, be ourselves around him. Let's say that. Well, I failed to get on top. But that's okay. Where does the journey go next? The journey goes towards Alftan, okay? So we're gonna head along the road. Up through the pass. We're gonna find Alftan. There's gonna be things along the way, but now we're not alone. We have powerful elementals and powerful friends at our side. Well, guys and girls, I certainly hope you enjoyed today's episode. The business in Windhelm is cleared up for now, but we have plenty of new quests and objectives. We've had a bit of a breather, stocked up on some more supplies, and we're gonna need them because reaching Black Reach is going to be very difficult for someone our level and with our skills. But with perseverance and a little bit of luck, I think we're gonna be okay. So have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.